Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about MOSFET capacitance and high frequency model. Okay, so see, just going to uh, the detailed discussion on MOSFET capacitance, just a quick recap. What is capacitance? Capacitance is basically two parallel plates which are separated by a dielectric medium. Like here, this case, these two plates which are uh, separated by suppose AR medium, here is also dielectric medium and we are applying potential in one plate we are applying positive potential and in another plate we are applying negative potential. So this will form one capacitance, right? This is the basic concept of capacitance which you all know. Now, what is diode capacitance? This thing you also know before going to detailed discussion of MOSFET capacitance. Basically, you already studied diode capacitance in detail in your analog electronic circuit course. So just a quick recap. So see, basically, this is P-type portion of the diode and here this is N-type portion of the diode. This positive, uh, positive circles are basically denoting the holes and the negative circles are denoting free electrons, okay? So see, for this N-type portion, these are electrons and only one positive circle is there. So what it indicates that for N type, obviously we know electrons are majority charge carrier. So there are large number of negative uh, circles and only one positive circle to indicate that for N type, the minority charge carrier are basically holes. Okay, clear? Similarly for P type, what are the majority charge carriers? Holes, right? So for P type, uh, for P type, portion of the diode, the majority charge carriers are holes, so there are large number of positive circles, but there is only one negative circle. This negative circle in P-type portion basically denotes the uh, free electrons which are minority charge carrier for the P-type semiconductor. But you should not confuse in one topic. See, this is not basically free electrons for P-type portion and similarly, this are not holes for n type what is this this portion is basically depletion region in p side there is negative ions okay in the depletion region which is uh, situated in the p side there are negative ions are there so see i have denoted this by negative ions okay these are not free electrons this thing you know from basic concept of physics right that in depletion region there are negative ions in the p side and similarly uh, for depression region, there are positive ions in the inside. Okay. So, see, these are not holes. These are positive ions. So, see, I have denoted by positive ions. Okay. And this region is clearly denoting the depression region in diode. I have not applied any biasing. So, no need to think about forward bias or reverse bias. In general, for a particular diode, obviously, one depression region is there. And this basically forms one capacitance. Why? Because, see, this is P-type. Here, the carriers can move. Okay, so basically, this is acting like one plate of the capacitor. Similarly, the N-type, observe this, where electrons and minority holes also can move. So, obviously, this can also act like a, another plate or another conductor uh, or another conducting plate for the capacitor. And in between uh, two plates, it is P-type and N-type. In between those two, there is sandwich of depression region. And you know well that in depression region, the carriers cannot move. Okay. So basically, this is acting like a dielectric which is present in between two electrodes. And here two electrodes are basically P-type and N-type portion of the diode. So basically, we can assume this situation as a capacitor. Where one plate is P-type, another plate is N-type and another uh, the depletion region is uh, denoting the uh, dielectric medium in between two plates of capacitor. So the picture is clear that what is diode capacitance, right? Now it's time to go to MOSFET, okay? So see, uh, this is the basic diagram of MOSFET. So I shall discuss clearly. So see, this is P-type substrate, okay? There are four terminals in the MOSFET. One is source, another one is drain, another one is gate, and another one is body terminal. Generally, you know that body is sorted with the source, right? Now, gate is not directly connected with the P-type substrate. There is an 
oxide layer okay generally this is sio2 oxide layer see in the index i have clearly written this uh, index stands for sio2 oxide layer okay clear and this dot dot portion see the index these are indicating basically electrode so for electrical connection of gate drain and source with other electrical components we should give these electrodes right so this is source this is drain uh, this is drain this is gate and this is body fine now what is happening observe carefully source is n type correct and the body or the substrate it is basically p type if you consider this thing obviously we are considering n mos right because we always discuss why we always discuss with respect to n mos because n mos is some advantage over p mos okay because uh, you just uh, think that in p mos what are the carriers the holes and in n mos the carriers are basically electrons right and the mobility of electrons are greater than the mobility of holes so obviously current in case of n mos is more than uh, the p uh, same situation as compared to uh, p mos right so obviously we prefer to uh, discuss some concept uh, on mosfet related to n mos only okay you can observe in your textbook uh, standard textbook also they always go through the n mos clear so see here we are considering n mos so obviously the body or the substrate is basically p type and the source and drain are basically n type okay now see source that is source is n type body is p type clear so in between n type and p type so if you consider this as diode this is obviously one pn junction right so we can assume that this junction has diode so obviously one depletion region will form and this uh, dot dot line is basically indicating the depletion region which is formed around the source because source and body are basically nothing but pn junction okay same thing goes for drain and body drain is n type body or substrate is p type so in between drain and body there is another pn junction so obviously another depletion region will form in the drain in between drain and body okay now obviously you can understand there will be two capacitance uh, one is source to body capacitance another one is drain to body capacitance this is obviously clear right so how the capacitance is formed for the source to body capacitance for one plate that is situated in source another plate is basically base or substrate so not base the body or substrate and the depletion region formed in between source and body basically denoting the dielectric medium in between two plates of the capacitor clear so see this picture it will you will understand more clearly so see uh, source so this n plus is one plate of the capacitor the p type substrate is another plate of the uh, capacitor and this depletion region which is formed in between p and junction is basically acting like a dielectric medium so we can say this is source to body capacitance clear similarly drain to body capacitance is there no need to explain it is obviously clear that one plate is basically n plus that is the drain itself another uh, plate of the capacitor is p type substrate and in between uh, drain and substrate there is depletion region which will act like the, the uh, uh, which will act like the uh, dielectric medium of uh, in between two parallel plates of the capacitor so basically here also one capacitor forms which is basically drain to body capacitance okay so already we got two capacitance in mosfet one is source to body capacitance another one is drain to body capacitance i hope this picture is clear now let us go to next capacitance and let us check what type of capacitance is formed you tell me what is the mode of operation see we are applying positive voltage in the gate source is basically grounded we are considering basically linear region right so see as pinch off is not occurred till now if you consider this picture then we can say that this is basically linear or triode region and here the source is basically grounded or we can say the source is basically sorted with the body where body is also grounded right and to uh, make current flow what do we do we apply positive voltage in the drain right and due to attraction 
of the uh, positive voltage which we are applying in the gate what will happen there will be accumulation of the minority electrons which are present in the p type substrate just below the oxide layer okay so see here the uh, accumulation of electrons are there which are basically minority uh, charge carriers for the p type substrate and they will form a channel through which the current will flow you know these basic things right now observe carefully very important thing that consider this gate electrode as one plate of the capacitor okay and the oxide layer which is basically siu2 oxide layer which is present in between gate and substrate consider this as depletion region of the capacitor and consider this channel this channel is basically formed by the electrons right so here this electrons are movable right so we can consider this channel as another plate of the capacitor so we can say here one capacitor forms which is uh, how the capacitor forms one plate is gate electrode another plate is channel and in between gate electrode and channel there is oxide layer which is basically acting like what depletion region of the capacitor that's what i have written here this capacitor is called as gate capacitive effect okay or gate capacitor this is called so what is written the gate electrode forms a parallel plate capacitor with the channel with the oxide layer serving as capacitor dielectric whatever i have explained same thing is written up to this the concept is clear right now let us go to another capacitance see carefully same picture we are considering just uh, you just uh, draw the biasing if you want with the gate positive voltage is connected with the drain positive voltage is connected body is basically grounded source is sorted with body or basically we can indirectly say that the source is basically grounded okay to see what will happen you have to observe this picture very carefully then you will clearly understand so that i have zoomed it see this is gate fine and this is basically oxide layer that is also okay see gate oxide layer and see there is a small overlap region see consider the, observe the mouse pointer this is basically one overlap region in between gate and source and in between gate and the overlap region of source there is one dielectric medium or we can say insulator which is basically the oxide layer okay so basically we can say that here also one capacitor is formed one plate is gate the dielectric medium is basically the siu2 oxide layer and another plate is basically this overlap region of the source clear so this will form one capacitor this is called gate source overlap capacitance same thing applies applicable for gate drain see there also one small overlap region is there so gate then dielectric medium that is oxide layer and then again one electrode which is basically the overlap region of the drain okay so this will form gate drain uh, overlap capacitance clear so see i have drawn here clearly you can understand from these two pictures see gate then uh, then basically dielectric medium which is siu2 oxide layer then Uh, there is small overlap region of gate with the source so which will act like another plate of the capacitor so it will form gate source overlap capacitance clear same thing goes for gate drain overlap capacitance i hope you can clearly understand from this picture itself okay so th this is another capacitance concept overlap capacitance concept in mosfet one more capacitance are there is there see carefully sorry so see here you already know what is this picture now see already channel is formed in between source and drain and there is one depletion region obviously will be there or already you i explained that why there is a depletion region in between source and body and drain and body now obviously there will be another depletion region in between channel and body also right why because channel is basically electrons formed by electrons body is basically p type where majority charge carriers are holes so electron and hole 
one more pn junction so obviously there will be one depletion region in between channel and body okay so here also one capacitance will form what is this capacitance see one capacitance one uh, plate of the uh, one conducting plate of the capacitance will be formed by the channel another conducting plate of the capacitance will be formed by the p type substrate or body and the depletion region which will be formed in between these two pn junction will act like the dielectric medium of capacitor okay this is called the name of this capacitance is called chain channel bulk capacitance the name is channel bulk capacitance okay so how channel depletion region then substrate this is how the channel bulk capacitance is formed or channel body capacitance is formed or we can say another way channel substrate capacitance is formed here Now see, we can apply some small concept of capacitor and get some beautiful result. See, here already we discussed gate is one electrode, then oxide layer is basically dielectric medium, then channel is another electrode. So this will form gate to channel capacitor, and one more capacitor we got channel to body or channel to bulk capacitor, which is formed by channel then. Depletion region, then p-type substrate, right? So basically, we can say the picture is like this: gate to channel capacitor, channel to body capacitor, are basically in series. Yes, it is clear from this picture itself, itself that those are in series, right? So we can uh, substitute this gate channel and channel body capacitor by its equivalent series capacitance that is denoted by CGB, that is gate to body. Or get to substrate or get to bulk capacitor. Clear? So this is obviously clear. Basic concept of capacitor we have applied. Just series formula of series capacitance you can apply. Okay. Now, now see all together what we got. Let us try to define in a single picture. Okay. So see basically this is basic diagram of MOSFET source body gate drain. You know that MOSFET is basically a four terminal device. Okay, clear. Obviously, it is happening. Now, what I discussed first capacitance, first type of capacitance. Just recall, there is capacitance in between source and substrate. Okay, right? Because there is one p-n junction and uh, the depletion region in between p-n junction is acting like a dielectric. So, and same goes for drain and body also. Okay, so basically we can. Uh, make two capacitor here and here by writing the name as CSB that is source to body and CDB that is drain to body. Clear? So this picture is clear. Slowly by slowly we will add capacitors whatever whatever we have discussed. Now see, we discussed there is capacitor in between drain sorry gate and source which is basically overlap capacitance and same goes for gate and drain. So just draw that. So this is CGS and this is CGD. Okay, the same picture. Just we added these two. So basically, we got this picture. So whatever we have added, just uh, uh, the overlap capacitance and source to body and drain to body capacitance. Okay. Now just we discussed that there is one capacitance which is get to body, get to body capacitance which is composed of or which is made up of. Two different capacitors, which are basically gate to channel and then channel to body capacitors, right? So series combination. If you uh, combine those two uh, series capacitors, we get gate to body capacitors. So gate to body connection is there. This is basically the all type of capacitors which are formed in the MOSFETs. Okay, so this is uh, the picture of capacitors in MOS transistor, and this concept. Whatever I have discussed in our this video, if you understand, then this concept will help you in lots of subject in electronics and communication engineering. It will come in analog electronic circuit. It will come in PLSI circuit design and any circuit design related to MOSFET. You should uh, keep uh, good attention or you should always keep the values in your mind. Uh, of uh, you should keep the uh, values of this capacitance in your mind. Then only your circuit will work. Properly, okay. So this is all for my this video. I hope the type of capacitance found in MOSFET is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. And this is all for my this video. In my next video, I will show you the high frequency model of MOSFET. 
from this concept we will extend and we will get that so this is all for my this video thank you for watching